Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. I got a great Ask a Ninja from Seth in Rigby, Idaho. He wants to know about insulating his foundation walls. Should he hire a spray foam insulation contractor to come in here and spray the spray foam all over the walls, or should he go to Home Depot or Lowe's, buy some rigid foam board, and tack that stuff up himself? Stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to waterproofing, encapsulation, indoor air quality. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell. Also, make sure you check out our brand new book that was released on Amazon. It's uh, currently a number one bestseller with over 41 five-star reviews. It's called Crawl Space Repair Myths Busted. Okay, Seth, so let's read your question. I want to insulate the walls of my crawl space at a more consistent temperature what would be the best option to hire a foam installer or do rigid foam board from home depot i tell you what these foam installers are amazing they uh they are very consistent at making sure that the spray foam is put on the foundation wall at a consistent basis unlike maybe the diyer or someone like us who doesn't work with spray foam on a continual basis spray foam in my opinion as much as of an art as it is a science. And there's a couple different options with spray foam. You can choose a closed cell or an open cell. Uh, there's pour in place. You could even do foam inside the, uh, the wall cavity of foundation block. If it's, uh, if it's hollow, they could fill it uh, with what's called a pour in place. Uh, all those are great options, okay? Um, the reason why we typically do rigid foam board is because it tends to be a little less expensive for us. We don't have a big spray foam truck because, uh, you know, in order to do open cell spray foam, normally it's a big rig and they're also doing whole home spray foam and stuff like that. We don't do whole home. We don't do attic spray foam or anything anymore. So for us, it's just less expensive on us, uh, less labor for us to go in and install a rigid foam board uh, or use an insole barrier type insulation on the foundation walls. But if you've got a great uh, spray foam contractor and they, they've got great reviews and all that and you want to utilize them, I would recommend you do it. You could even take the vapor barrier up the wall and they can attach the vapor barrier with the spray foam. If they use a closed cell spray foam, that acts just like the plastic does itself. Open cell spray foams can tend to allow moisture to creep through them, although it's very, it's not real easy, like you shouldn't see like water pouring through the spray foam, but it does allow moisture to creep through. As a matter of fact, uh, Matt Reisner did a great uh, video about the differences between open and closed cell spray foam, and I'll put a link to that down below so you can check it out. He did some in, in uh, office testing with that. Uh, it still doesn't allow a lot of moisture, so I consider uh, closed cell spray foam to be the better choice, but if someone only does open, you might consider that as well. If you're wanting to do it yourself, Seth, I would recommend you just go to Home Depot, get some rigid foam board, make sure it's designed for ground contact. You don't want to just get any type of foam board. It needs to be specifically designed for wet areas like your crawl space. Of course, that's going to be less expensive for you. Uh, to go maybe get some Tapcon screws or go to our DIY store and rent that DX5 if you want to install that foam board yourself with the DX5 gun. Uh, so anyway, hopefully that helps you out. We would do the foam board. The other reason why we like foam board is it's a consistent R value. And like I said, if your spray foam guys are really good, they'll be able to create a consistent R value as well. Another advantage of spray foam is they could actually put more R value on the wall than the foam board could supply if you're in a real cold region. So Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja, we hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.